What's up, guys? Just trying to do this real quickly before my ride gets here. Um, but you know, about, I would tell you, last night, mostly, I went on one of the Facebook group pages. And I don't know if it was Facebook. I think it was. But I went on one of the Facebook group pages. Someone had posted something. And quite honestly, hold on for a second. Like I was saying, quite honestly, what the person posted really got people talking because what it was was a series of panels on I think one page as a recent one of the recent IDW Sonic releases. And what really upset them wasn't just the fact that you know the Zombot virus story was still going, it's the fact that now you had established characters, fan favorites, if you will, being infected. In this fact, the scene that they actually showed us with Amy Rose, you know, carrying off uh, Cream to safety, and Vanilla, Cream's mom, being infected and saying thank you. You know, thank you to Cream for saving her daughter. And then we see Vector get infected as well, saying, FBO, you're now the detective. Almost like they're saying, you know, it was a, almost like they're saying goodbye. Like, go back to goodbye, and now they're dead. And the legacy lives on with, you know, the friends or the family or their kids. And, you know, there were some people that were not too thrilled with, with seeing this. They were not too happy with seeing this. Some people have even said in the comments section that, you know, IDW Sonic got was getting a lot darker than they thought because they were going this route. And they said they prefer Archie Sonic. This is why they preferred the Archie Sonic over IDW. And why people feel that it's not a good comic if you know you're allowing this to happen. Uh, but some people tend to forget that Archie Sonic could get dark at times too. They really could. There's no doubt about that. They could get dark. But again, but here's the thing we have to realize, and I even mentioned this before. IDW is a comic book publisher that is home to many comic books, a variety of them, that are mature in tone. Whether it's Ninja Turtles and the various adaptions they have of them, one of them being mature, or some other titles. You know, they're very, they are a very much, they are in some parts of the publishing company, hold on for a sec. Like I said, this IDW is one of those comic book publishers, independent, major or not, that has various divisions of the comics, I mean, of the company, that are home to very mature titles or adaptions of various franchises. You know, heck, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic even gets dark at times. Maybe not as dark, but it gets dark. You know, depending on the certain issues, the story, or even the spin-off comic books that they made that come out of Friendship with Magic's comic, like Fiendship is Magic, Nightmare Nights, you name it. They can be very dark and mature as well. Like I said, they can be very dark and mature as well. So I can so I can see though why it's upsetting to some people and why they never really wanted Sonic to be in IDW and want him to remain with RT or just be, be with someone else because you're basically taking a character I mean Sonic himself according to the story arc excuse me for a second it's like, like I was saying Sonic himself in the story has even been affected by the, the Zombot I mean the Zombot virus and I don't know an issue has come up where he's been completely infected or, or what but it's like, seriously, you know, what is going on? But it's like, seriously, in the eyes of a lot of folks, all those I've read, it's like, seriously, what are you trying to do? I mean, we know Ian Flynn can do dark Sonic stories. Other Dash M, you know, Other M, if you will, Other Dash M, if you will, his webcomic that got him noticed and got people reading it and talking about it and all that is, is proof of that. It is. So... You know, so the question is, why are people upset about how dark IDW's gotten with that song? Because basically you're taking fan-favorite characters like Vanilla and Vector and a few others, and you're saying, eh, screw it, we're going to turn them into Zombots. 
And you know why they worry about this? Because they know they, they've seen these kind of stories where somebody gets infected by some kind of virus, zombie virus or whatever, and part, sometimes part of the culmination or the climax to end the entire story arc is the person behind it is able to find a way to cause those that have been infected to, you know, either tear parts of the body, I don't think that will happen, or tear parts of the body or do things that they normally wouldn't do. Heck, I get this image that, you know, what if the story calls for the Zombots to merge into one big Zombot, you know, and, and to fight Sonic or the heroes? What if that happens? That would be crazy. Again, wouldn't put it past Ian to do it. You know, again, like I said, I wouldn't put it past Ian to do it, but we'll have to wait and see. I have to wait and see, but the thing is, it's like, I think what's really breaking the straw with a lot of fans when it comes to this, is they've already been here, they've seen this before. They, they, they've seen what this will do, or what, the, what this is. They've seen it before, and they're, they either know what the outcome is going to be, you know, in other words, everyone being cured, or someone dying, or... I don't know. It's like, like I said, you know, certain things happening with characters that normally wouldn't. And again, I think, honestly, I think honestly, fans are just not too good. It's like, you know, the early portion of the IDW Sonic was good. But it's like now you're going in directions that you shouldn't have to go into, that you shouldn't be doing, you shouldn't be touching upon. And I think that's what's upsetting fans a lot. It's upsetting them to the point that, hey, and, and then I think what it is really is it's a hypocritical thing. It's like, wait a minute. So in RC Comics, the Sega characters were off limits, you know, for anything to happen to them. But here they're not. And it's like, what's the deal? What, what the heck? Again, like I said, I think this was really upsetting fans. It's not just the fact that fan favorites are getting infected and this is happening to them, but it's like, really? So you can allow it here in IDW, but you couldn't allow it in the Archie comic? It's like, what the heck? You know, and I think this really is upsetting them. I think the other thing that upsets them is the fact that what's happening is pretty much, it seems to them, and maybe I'm reading too much into it, but it seems to them that what IDW is trying to do is establish the comic characters along with Sonic to be kind of like the heroes, to be their interpretation maybe of freedom fighters outside of the game characters where the game characters are basically uh, put on the shelf. Now I know some of you might be saying, well, I know some of you might be saying, well, didn't the um, worlds collide and collide or, yeah, what is that, worlds collide comic kind of snuff out, you know, characters, you know, being put into predicaments that normally they wouldn't be. Yeah, yeah, maybe in a sense it did, but they were quickly restored. Yeah, it took time over issues, but before we got to the main, uh, the main, you know, climax of the story, yeah, they got, well, like I say, yeah, when we got to, like, to the main climax of the story, most of the characters were restored. They were back to normal. It wasn't, you know, something to where, you know, well, for one, you knew what the, how to reverse the effect of the robotization. Here, it's like, what's the cure? There is no cure, is there? And right now, we don't know. We don't know what the cure is. The only thing I can think of when it all comes to an end is Eggman himself probably going to start getting infected, and he's going to want a cure. He's not going to want it to happen. He's not going to want it to backfire on him. But maybe Sonic fighting the infection might be play along and be, you know, be himself and be like, kind of play along and be like, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of cool this way. And, and basically, you know, be himself to the point that Eggman would be like, okay, here's the cure. I know what the cure is. Here it is. And, you know, Sonic would still play coy, like, yeah, no, I like it this way. Until at least Eggman agrees, okay, I'll let you cure all your friends. Jeez. You know, so I could probably see it ending like that, most likely. But again, it's like, seriously, I think it's more about hypocriticness 
on Sega's part and IDW's part for allowing this to happen. And mostly because of the fact that there's no cure to what's going on um, as we speak. Like I said, there's no cure to what's going on with the Zombot virus. And I think that's why some fans are upset because usually they would know uh, what the cure is before something. Um, you know, you know, after something or before something, you know, occurs, they would know how to handle it and reverse the effects. It's like here, it's, you know, what's the cure? So, again, a lot of fans are not too thrilled with the Zombot story. I mean, yeah, there are some good parts probably, but even though I haven't read it yet, it's like the Zombot story arc is, you know, maybe too much for their taste. I don't know. Or maybe they feel it's just a hypocritical move. But yeah, right now, the Zombot virus story is getting a mixed reaction. And so far, the reaction is not, it's leading more towards negative than positive. But let me know what you guys all think. I know I sound like I rambled a little bit, but let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Let me hear what you think of one of you. And I'm out.